Besitos to you. I'm Liza Perez. I'm an independent consultant for Sensi since 2015. I'm in the Central Florida area and I'm going to talk to you today about something that has to be said. I'm going to share some of my nightmare moments with Sensi. Now, before I start, I want to let you know that these stories just happen to be my experience and the reason why I'm sharing this is because I always hear about the wonderful success stories that people have when they start a Sensi business. And sometimes you'll hear something like, I started, I joined kind of by accident, or I joined just to get products. I never intended for this to be a business, let alone a lucrative one, one where I was earning incentive trips and one where, you know, I was doing so well, I have a team under me, all this stuff that I hear people say. And it, I gotta say, I don't got no haterade going on but the thing that's crazy about hearing those stories and where my mind frame, where my mindset was when I joined, I expected all this to happen from the door. I came in strong, ready to go, focused, motivated, and positive. I was expecting the best to happen. I know that positive energy attracts good things and um, I was taught from the beginning that everything you do for your Sensi business will pay off and I'm not saying it doesn't but what I am gonna share is I think real <laughs> um, you know you could search all the YouTube channels and see all the successful consultants and I'm not saying I'm not successful I'm just saying that I've had a slower start and it hasn't been a dream come true from the beginning I've had some moments where it's been a real nightmare like why are these things happening to me are they only happening to me and why aren't people sharing these stories more I understand that as a team leader we want to be positive and you know we want to teach our teams all the good things because <laughs> it's so easy when you work in a business like Sensi to just let it sit on the table and sit on the side and get it out your mind because we have so much going on in our life so many priorities that takes first place that when it comes to running your own sensi business it's the easiest thing in the world to overlook so i wanted to share my story with you and i'm going to start right now because i don't want to um take any longer kind of teasing the fact that I've had some crazy stuff happen to me <laughs> and um, okay so I'm gonna start with my launch party when you join Sensi it's advised that you announce your business you get the word out there um, and you know if you have been thinking about joining Sensi I don't want you to look at this video right away like a negative I'm just sharing what's happened to me so um, just know your experience could be very different just as everyone else's experience that I come across from all these successful consultants. I'm like, well, I did that too, but it didn't work for me. And again, that's not just being, that's not being negative. That's just sharing. I'm just trying to be honest that it could go either way for anyone and it could change at any time. So you could start strong and it could slow down a year later for you. Who knows? Or, you know, a pandemic could happen like we're in now, right? But it's been actually wonderful for Sensi <laughs> during this pandemic. And um, if you have lost someone due to the illness of COVID, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, I, I, it's just been crazy times in 2020. So when I did my launch party, I was so excited. I love throwing parties for my... In fact, my twins just had their 11th birthday. I have twins who have special needs. They have physical disabilities. They're both in wheelchairs, my twins, Mia and Maya. And they're one of the biggest reasons why I joined Sensi. I needed more income. I was attracted by the incentive trips. Um, I, I wanted more income to supplement the um the expense of us traveling on the road for medical reasons we go we were going to miami every six weeks for my daughter's eye exams under anesthesia we did that for three years almost and then it kind of slowed down to every 12 weeks every 16 weeks now it's only yearly but um behind those costs we lost our house and everything so yeah it's just been crazy they're 11 now so god's been good and they're miracles so 
my launch party. I, I was so excited. It took all my strength to get my house clean. It took a lot of time to get my house clean. And I finally did, and I was so ready to just show it off and relax. And I was exhausted. Day of the party, I was so, you know, I, I tend to over, <laughs> overdo it. So, I only had one person show up. That was frustrating, and I had to show face and smile to my one friend who was so kind to come over. And I know she felt bad for me. It's like, okay, wow, and you went all out, and oh, wow. <laughs> and you know, it was my first party, so I wasn't exactly sure how I should handle it, what I should say, this, that, and the other. But I did okay, and I got her to book a party. So with this being a party business, ideally, and you don't have to run Sensi this way, but ideally, you book a party so you could be introduced to new potential clients. And she was so kind to say yes and book a party. We were excited. And um, I ended up getting a phone call just maybe a day or two before the party. And she had told me that her dog passed away. So I was heartbroken for her. She was devastated. And of course, I didn't bring up again about rescheduling. Watched her on Facebook for over a month. I think up to six months posting about her dog almost every day how much she missed them so you know I just kind of scratched that off the list and eventually one of her friends signed up under me so I don't even really <laughs> she's my friend too but I don't bring up Sensi to her it's just kind of a sore spot for both of us because of that experience so I was not off to a good start with Sensi because ideally you book a party off of a party so now I'm kind of stuck from the door because I'm like all right none of my friends that I invited came I put the link online for them to shop. People were ignoring. Nobody really warned you that your friends and your family are not the first ones to support you, usually, when it comes to a Sensi business. You might get one or two, but just know that's normal because, I mean, think about it. If you start your own cleaning business or if you open your own restaurant, you can't rely on your family and friends to be your clients or to be the only people to come eat at your restaurant and your doors are open, right? So I knew that naturally, if I was going to succeed at Sensi, I was going to have to branch out and uh, find new customers, which wasn't a problem for me. I thought I was going to do really well from the beginning. I'm a radio personality here in Central Florida for over 20 years, so I know a lot of people. So I guess I had high expectations for my business, and I knew that, you know, I, I didn't have a shy problem really getting the word out or anything like that. I was pumped, ready to go. Like, I thought I was going to hit director within a year. <laughs> like, I was doing that much with that much energy, that much positivity, and that much focus. But my story is different. I have to work super harder for some reason. So, that was my first little mini nightmare. I mean, the puppy died. Well, he wasn't a puppy, but, oh, how heartbreaking is that? So, I'm going to jump into the memory of my very first recruit. Oh, my God. Stars and the moons aligned. This person joined my team, a stranger, just randomly on my PWS, which is a Sensi website. This is a person I never spoke to, just signed up after, you know, a month or so or two months. And I was just like thrilled, so excited, like, oh my gosh, it's happening. My team is arriving, finally starting to grow. And when I checked out our Facebook page, you know, of course, I welcomed her to Sensi. I did all what's supposed to be the right things and um, you know also gave her some space let her know I was here introduced myself and um, when I saw her Facebook page I got really excited because she was some kind of a business she had her own little business where she's somewhat of a motivational speaker and she helps businesses. It was something like she helps businesses with their mindset. And it just seemed perfect. She was, um, it seemed like she, uh, oh, yeah, basically motivating for businesses just like Sensi, for consultants and things like that. So I was like, oh my gosh, she already knows. She already knows what it takes to be successful at a business like this. And she joined my team. I couldn't be more thrilled. I was so, so excited. And about a week later, you know, I mean, she never really responded to my welcome. And again, I was straightforward, but also 
a little reserved to not be too pushy right away. But regardless, she told me, oh, I basically she said she was a kidnapper. She just wanted the kit. She wasn't interested in starting a new business venture. She just thought that the kit came with a lot of stuff and she wanted it. That no one warned me about kidnappers. <laughs> so I was a little taken back and, you know, it is what it is. I was like, okay, well, it's always here for you if you decide you want to do it. <laughs> and, um, you know, never again. This was almost five years ago now. So I was disappointed. I was heartbroken. I was really kind of upset because at this point in my business, I've been doing it for a couple months. I haven't had a whole lot of traction with uh, clients and you know recruiting and I had watched so many videos I studied my workstation I did all these things that was supposed to be right and I was learning and trying to implement what I was learning that's the one of the most important things you could learn all day but you got to definitely take action and do income producing income producing activities for your business and you know, it works slow. Nothing about Sensi is fast, not usually. And this is why I'm sharing this because when you jump on YouTube, you can hear these rock star, superstar directors tell you how, how you just gotta drill, 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 and it's gonna happen. And I'm not saying it's not, but what I'm telling you is that I've been doing this five years and I've been drill, drill, drilling, and I'm a star consultant, which a star consultant is about just under halfway to the top compensation plan. So you start out as an essential consultant. Then once you sell your first thousand, you become a certified consultant. And then once you get one team member and as a team you sell, uh, I believe, no, 20, 1,000 together <laughs> for the team sales. You promote to lead consultant. And then once you get at least 2,500 in team sales, um, and you hit your numbers, you become star consultant. I'm still car star consultant. I've been about two years now star consultant. My team is finally really growing, so I'm hoping that um, I get hit superstar consultant sometime soon in the near future, or maybe even jump over to the director side finally after all this drilling and hard work I've been doing. Um, but it takes a lot of patience. And you know what, the good thing though is that you know, I'm telling you how I'm not that shy and, uh, you know, I was ready to go. You know, it takes some skills to be a consultant, but anybody could do this. And even if you don't feel that you're ready to go, these are skills you could develop. So at the same time that I'm telling you my nightmare stories, I don't want them to scare you away from the potential it has because everyone has different stories. I'm just hoping that you'll see this and realize that, okay, it's different for everyone. That's the main point. She could be successful, he could be successful, it could be slow for her, but if I give up now, because I haven't hit director yet, if I give up now, who knows what will happen a month later from today, I might actually hit director numbers. I might promote and become a director because all the work I've put in will suddenly add up at the same time to make that happen. So don't give up. You might just be right around the corner from your blessings, from your hard work paying off. Number three story, I'm gonna tell you my third nightmare. My second recruit um, was not too far after the first recruit. And this was a girl that, um, I don't know if I wanna say I vetted her on Facebook, but I didn't know her. And I was posting and she saw one of my posts and reached out that she was interested. Found out she lived in my town, not too far, like 10 minutes away, so we decided to meet up. Um, she actually ended up inviting me over to her home cause she has small kids and I was like, okay, fine, you know, um, and she was so excited to start. <laughs> she was so thrilled to join, and um, she was really wanting me to teach her, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I could do this every time. I was already picturing a team of 100, and like, what if five people join at the same time? How am I going to give them this kind of attention? Can I do this every time? I'm like, is everyone going to be like this? Do I need to do this with everyone? But my hands were free so I'm like I'm willing to help you maybe she's gonna be one of my rock stars you know and um, I helped her through everything when her kid arrived she invited me over again my kids here my kids here I want to go through it with you will you please come over and I did and we were kiki ki and laughing and we were cool we it seemed like I was having a new friend you know now on my team so I was really excited really excited so we set up a launch party 
she said she wanted me there and I said okay I'll come I'm here to help you you know she was close to home why not so I planned to come to her lunch party next thing you know no one was confirming and just last minute like you could hear how she deflated <laughs> she went from ready to go to I'm not doing this and oh, that frustrated me because I'm like, why can't people just come to her party? Why can't people just come to my party? People go to parties all the time. You know, we're fun. I'm fun. I'm fun. You know, it's like I'm on the radio. I'm fun. I party for a living for work. And now I can't make a party happen in my house. Like, it was just crazy. So, yeah, she ended up canceling a party. I'm like, okay, maybe she's hormonal. <laughs> like, it was that, you know. So I reached out to her that morning just to say, hey, oh, I wish we were doing a party. I'm so sorry. Nobody, you know, nobody decided to come. And she was like, let me ask them one more time. And I was like, ooh. She was like, maybe somebody will come over. Will you come over even if only one or two people come? I'm like, heck yeah. So she's like, well, just plan to come over. I'm like, oh, should I? And I'm like, okay. How much I don't know. Well, nobody came over, and now she's like, I don't think I could do this. And I was like, no, this is just one party. The same thing happened to me. You know, and I told her my first story, and she's like, no, I, I just, I'm just not going to do this. And I'm like, oh, my God, tears, you know? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, it, was, it was really intense for me to not have that because I'm like, man, you could go above and beyond or you could do nothing and you get the same result you know what i mean so i'm just gonna keep shooting and hopefully i'll make that basket eventually now um sometime from august to may i finally got my home party i joined in august of 2015 so it wasn't until like may 10th of 2016 that i finally got my first home party and a lot of people went to that party i was really excited um my little nightmare story about that was kind of funny only in the sense that you know it takes some experience to learn how to troubleshoot through crazy stuff in your business so i'm gonna share this with you so you don't make the same stupid mistake that i made um there must have been like 15 women in this regular size florida apartment <laughs> and i set up in the living room you know and it was kind of small so I had my table and um, I set up my warmer set up my I brought so much stuff I brought too much stuff for that first party but I had a beautiful display <laughs> but my warmers weren't melting and I'm like what the heck is going on I'm like looking at the time like my warmer's been on like 30 minutes there should be something and I'm just spraying room spray like there gotta be smell around here what's going on mind you a lot of people arrived at her party early so, um, people were watching me kind of scramble with last minute touches and getting my wax to melt was one of them. Well, little did I realize her ceiling fan was pretty much directly under where I was set up. So make sure you uh, mic check that the next time you go to your event and someone's house. <laughs> um, so that, that was a little nightmare. It's just some of the kooky things that kept happening to me. And, you know, in the beginning, it didn't make me look too good because nobody was really smelling nothing in the beginning. So it wasn't until, you know, they was smelling the testers. And then by then it was kind of too late because they smelled testers. And, and once I realized the fan, that's when I got the warmers to melt their wax and that kind of thing. Um, another story was... Um, my first experience with Sensi was pretty much a little nightmare story I could share with you. It was how I was introduced to Sensi, and it was two years before I ever joined. I was never interested in joining at this time, and it was a Sensi fundraiser meant for me and my family. As I mentioned already, I have twins who have physical disabilities. They were preemies, 24-week preemies. My daughter Mia was 15 ounces at birth. So they both have cerebral palsy and my friend who's now my sponsor Kat who lives in Germany we bonded online off of our pregnancies we were pregnant at the same time so we became good friends online when she came to Florida we met and we got reunited again after um 
Sensi <laughs> at Sensi Family Reunion. So, um, you know, she was a dear friend who saw our needs and she never asked me to join her team. I would see her post stuff, but she um, decided because she knew we were trying to raise money for a handicap van and she offered to do help me out by doing a fundraiser. She's like, you know, a lot of people or you got to share the link. I should have known then, right? She was like, you know, a lot of people, you know, just share the link. And um, my friend Marie, who's in my downline, she's in the stage. She could do this fundraiser for you. And I'm like, okay, thank you. And I was really, really thrilled. It so happens that during that fundraiser time, Sensi had a flash sale and there was this bundle for $25 that I got um, a warmer, two bars of wax, and two Scentsy Buddies. It was a full size and those little mini Scentsy Buddies, if you're familiar with Scentsy history. And it was just $25. So I bought my own fundraiser stuff because I was always into home fragrance. And um, my daughter's pulmonologist, the, the lung doctor, told her that, you know, told us, sorry, not her, told me, the mom, that candles weren't good for my children with them having chronic lung disease. disease. So... I had to stop using candles and that really broke my heart because I was so into those plugins from the mall and the candles from that store and I had to stop. So I was like all for this because I'm like non-toxic. I'm like, well, maybe the girls, you know, could tolerate it. Maybe it's not going to bother them. So to make a long story short, nobody, not one person bought from the Scentsy fundraiser that was meant for me. I see my lip is caking up. So, I'm sitting here like, what the hell? On top of that, whatever little five, ten dollars that I really could have used, that I really could have, you know, just appreciated getting the money back from my own purchase, because we were having hard times. I didn't even get paid off of my little fundraiser order. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, it, it was crazy. It was crazy. I should have known then, right? That should have probably been an indication for me that Sensi probably wasn't going to work out like this the way it's worked out for other people. And again, I didn't even put that pressure on me. I knew it could probably take a little long. I joined Sensi kind of on a whim. I was on vacation on a mountain in Colorado. We were there for a wedding. We drove from Orlando to Colorado Springs. It was a crazy drive. And we was in the mountains. And I'm just reflecting on life. What am I going to do? You know, what's the next five to ten years going to look like with my girls? What can I do? And when I finally got some reception, I was on my phone. And next thing you know, I saw a cat post about a joint special they were having. And I, it just clicked. Suddenly, it made sense. Suddenly, for me, it made sense, and I got so excited that the whole trip home, driving, I'm in my phone, researching Sensi, already learning, already, you know, uh, and mind you, I didn't even have the $99 at the time to join. I was like, how the heck are we going to do this, you know, and because um, I realized once I looked at the difference between the joint special and the $99, bleh, the $99 kit that I was going to be the type of person that would want the $99 kit because I knew I was going to get these materials out and that kind of thing and I wanted more stuff. And I knew that I was going to have time, a hard time affording it later. So I invested in my business. I invested the $99 and the starter kit is, comes bulky, with pretty much like this. You, you get a warmer. You get a bar of wax, and I'll show it closer to you again. You get a kid product. You get a clean product. Somewhere over here, I think, is laundry. You get samples. Let me make it focus. Let me see. Anyway, and you know, one of the most important things for your business are all the scent testers. They are... 80 plus cents to choose from with Scentsy. The smell of this bag, oh my gosh, it's so good. I was so excited to get my starter kit. This is um, what my business is. 
I can't. Why, well, you see, I can't even do that right. You see people all the time with the makeup. <laughs> and they're like all cutesy. And they get it right. It's not blurry, right? So what's this? Ah, vanilla buttercream. Vanilla bean buttercream. And they smell the testers. And this is how they pick their scents. At the parties that hopefully you book and when you're just at home and people come over oh what's that smell oh my testers is this scent check it out check out this one that kind of thing so you know you run your business day by day little by little and you know these little nightmare stories i had i call them nightmares because for me in the moment i could have gave up my dream wasn't coming true so opposite of a dream come true to me is a nightmare you know, it's scary to think I'm going to fail. <laughs> but I keep pushing, and my plan with this business is to fail forward. I don't care how long it's going to take for me to hit director, and one day I will. And I hope that when you decide that since he's a good fit for you and your family, no matter when it happens for you, it can happen random like me on a mountain on vacation. Last thing I was thinking about, um, join and just know that if you do sign up under me, I'll be able to support you fully to the best of my, I will do above and beyond if I can for you. And I most likely will. <laughs> you could borrow my testers. I'll mail you some stuff. Like this is stuff that we don't need to do as leaders. So if you hear me say that and you go, well, I don't want to do that when I'm a leader. Guess what? You don't have to. You don't have to. You can run your business the way you want. My sponsor cat is in Germany. And um, one of the things that attracted me to the business was the fact that she was earning incentive trips. She had been doing Sensi just over two years at that time, and she had earned every incentive trip since she started. And she's earned all of them, maybe except for one, and she's been doing this today seven years. So everyone has a different experience. If yours is going slow like mine, cry about it, dry your tears. And just pick up your catalog, go through it, sniff some testers, do what it's going to take to get you motivated again and not lose hope in your business. Fail forward. Everything, do, everything you do for your business will help you. Whether if you believe that or not, I'll tell you what. I have not been a complete failure with all these setbacks. And there's so many more stories I could share that prove the point that I did not take off right away in my Sensi business. And I was getting so annoyed and so frustrated and, you know, not in a hating way because there were superstar directors i seen on YouTube that when I saw that Maven Union, I'm kind of like sensey starstruck. I'm like, oh, I watch her. <laughs> she's helped me, you know, she's helped me focus even though my results have been slower. But I'm not going to give up. I love this business. I believe in this business. And the heart of this business is so awesome. The owners are amazing. Heidi and Orville. And um, if you are interested in the Sensi opportunity and you would like some more info, my website where you can just sign up easy right now if you are ready to go uh, is sensintodollars.com slash join. Now that sense as in smells. <laughs> it's a play on words. So it's like change. Sense, not change. I'm sorry, not change, but sense as in smells into dollars sense into dollars.com slash join i'll put the link in the comments and um if you found this video helpful maybe subscribe to my channel if you're interesting like comment share all that good stuff and um just uh ask questions find out if sensi is a good fit for you and your family i believe it is we're more than warmers and wax we have stuff for everyone in the home and probably by now you notice okay i like jewelry i try to do my makeup <laughs> I try to do my makeup but I'm not into all that stuff and let me tell you something I have the perfect catchphrase sorry my cheap makeup is kicking up on me because all the talking but I have a catchphrase where I say Bessie those to you is what I say on the radio as my welcome as my greeting and as my goodbye oh my 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 lipsticks that I could be selling. <sighs> you know, Sensi is unique. Unique. I mean, yes, you could get candles and other fragrance stuff, you know, out there. 
but we offer a unique product that's non-toxic. We're the first company to introduce wax and warmers. We have so many different products. You can reach out to pet parents. You could reach out to mommies, Disney lovers. You could reach out to um, anyone who likes their home smelling good. This could go in the bathroom or an office or, you know, someone who has their own business in a store. I mean, gosh, there's so many different products. We've got cleaning products. You could reach out to people who are cleaning homes and let them stand out in their business with unique scents and smells, with good quality products. So, you know, this business is for you. Why not? Give it a try. The starter kit is fairly priced to where you can start and give it a try. And if it doesn't work out for you and you don't want to stick through it as long as I have, <laughs> you could back out of it having a kit that is worth almost double in product. The products are, I, I can't remember if it was 90, I got three numbers in my head, 93, 94, 96 dollars in products. And that's not including these, oh, it's heavy. These scent testers of wax that are at least a $50 value, okay? And you know what? At the end of it, if you decide it's not for you, you can use up all this wax yourself and enjoy. <laughs> but that, your website and some catalogs, that's your business. So um, the kit is fairly priced to where you don't lose out on money. And think about this really quick. I started talking about how if you start your own business, you can't rely on your family and friends to eat at your restaurant or you know expect you to clean their homes and you get paid for it and this that, and the other and the least when it comes to starting your own business you're gonna need business cards a website um, so how much would that cost some flyers think about that cost and keep in mind that Sensi is giving you everything you need to start your business with their starter kit for $99. Don't forget the tax and shipping. So it'll be somewhere between 99 and 120, 125 uh, in the US and territories. And you can also sell, in, uh, well, you can also recruit in other regions. That's another video, but we could talk about it. And uh, just know it's fairly priced. Well, you're not gonna lose out. This is an opportunity and you can try and see if it's good for you. Plus, if you go inactive, you can always come back to Sensi for free. You just got to activate your website and um, they'll give you an opportunity to get another kit later if your stuff is way too old or just do your website. That's the beauty. We, we're online. You know what I mean? So, guys, thank you so much for taking this time. I know I'm talking a lot. But, um, again, my name is Lizette Perez. My website, senseintodollars.com slash join. I would love to have you on my team. And if uh, you know anybody that may want to do this, maybe they could join your team. So if you don't want to do this, send them my way. <laughs> um, but if you do, uh, join my team today and reach out. I will help you get to a successful start in your Sensi business. Thank you guys for watching. Besitos to you.